Guess who's awake and caused a ruckus after a 40-year snooze? Hawaii's very own Mauna Loa Volcano. This big guy is the largest active volcano on the planet and was recently spewing out incredible lava flows. The US Geological Survey even listed a warning level, which means things got pretty serious. Thankfully, it seems like the eruption was well kept under control, at least for now. But when it comes to volcanoes, it's best not to let your guard down. Each one of these potential massive eruptions could cause trouble in everything from transportation, trade, energy, finance, and communication. Even the food we eat and the water we drink could be affected. Yikes. Hard to imagine what that might be, am I right? It would be like a huge game of the floor is lava. Except the lava would be real, and the game would be seriously hard to win. And let's not forget about the impact it would have on our weather and temperature. Mauna Loa is not the only volcano that might cause trouble, though. Did you know that underneath Yellowstone National Park lies one of the world's largest volcanoes? The Yellowstone Caldera, at the summit of the volcano, is so massive that it's called a supervolcano. This means that it has the potential to produce quite the eruption. But don't worry, it's not going to happen anytime soon. You may have heard people say that Yellowstone is overdue for an eruption because the last one was 70,000 years ago. However, that's just a common misconception about volcanoes. They don't work on timelines. They erupt when there's enough eruptible magma beneath the surface and pressure to cause that magma to ascend. Currently, neither of these conditions are in place at Yellowstone. Experts keep a close eye on Yellowstone's subterranean activity to give warnings if a major volcanic eruption is about to happen. They use a lot of techniques to monitor movements, ground deformation, and temperatures, and collect gas and water to check their chemistry over time. While Yellowstone is stable right now and hasn't displayed any unusual seismic activity lately, if it were to erupt, the aftermath could be pretty bad. Experts predict that ash could end up coating the surrounding region in a layer more than four inches thick. This could really mess up Midwest agriculture for a short period of time. The effects would also be felt beyond the United States borders. But let's not worry about that right now. Yellowstone is a beautiful and exciting place to visit. With its incredible wildlife, geysers, hot springs, and breathtaking views. Next time someone asks you if Yellowstone's supervolcano is going to erupt soon, just tell them not to worry for the time being. There are around 1,500 active volcanoes on Earth. That's a lot of lava. And while it's true that between 10 and 20 volcanoes are erupting every day, it's highly unlikely that they would all go off at the same time. But let's imagine for a moment that they did. Would Earth survive? According to some geologists, the answer is a big fat no. You see, the problem with a worldwide volcanic event is not just the explosions and lava flows, which are problematic enough, but also the ash and volcanic gases. That pesky ash would completely block out the sun, pitch the planet into complete darkness, and affect the way plants perform photosynthesis. Crops would be destroyed, and temperatures would drop significantly. And that's not all. Acid rain would wipe out any crops that survived being covered in ash. That same rain would contaminate our waters too. This would make the ocean itself more acidic, causing problems for corals and marine life with hard shells. It might even wipe out entire species of fish. There is a silver lining, sort of. Some resilient organisms could survive in these really acidic environments, such as Yellowstone's hot springs, or in deep undersea areas that wouldn't be exposed to the eruption. As for humans, it's a bit more complicated. I mean, if you've got the funds for it, you could build yourself a legit underground bunker and stay there until the atmosphere clears. Weird volcanic scenarios aside, interesting volcanic activity doesn't just happen in America. Ever heard of Katla? the infamous Icelandic volcano? It's been a while since it last erupted, back in 1918. But here's the thing. If it decides to blow its top, things could get pretty crazy. You see, Katla is no ordinary volcano. If it erupts, it's predicted to be 10 times stronger than its nearby sibling, which caused quite a frenzy back in 2010. The ash plume from Katla would be enormous, reaching high into the sky and covering vast areas of Europe for an extended period. That means air travel and economic trade would be severely impacted, potentially pushing Europe, and maybe even the entire world into some rough times. Now don't worry just yet. The likelihood of Katla erupting soon is fairly low. 
If you're part of the history buffs and volcano enthusiasts, you've surely heard of Mount Vesuvius. On the 24th of August, 79 CE, Mount Vesuvius woke up from centuries of sleep and decided to throw a massive tantrum. Well, it wasn't exactly a tantrum, more like a volcanic eruption that shook southern Italy and the entire Roman Empire, destroying the prosperous city of Pompeii. Fast forward to the 18th century, and this ancient city was rediscovered and excavated, revealing a wealth of knowledge about the everyday life of ancient Romans. It's like a time capsule from the past, frozen in time and waiting to be explored. Before Vesuvius decided to throw this surprise party, Pompeii was a thriving trade hub and summer vacation spot for the wealthy. But when the volcano erupted, it rained ash and pumice for 12 hours straight, forcing people to flee. On the bright side, the layers of ash and pumice formed a natural time capsule that preserved the buildings, frescoes, and sculptures until their rediscovery almost 1700 years later. That means we can now study the culture, customs, beliefs, physical characteristics, food, and health of the ancient Romans like never before. Pliny the Younger's was one of the most detailed eyewitness accounts of the disaster, which gave us a rare insight into the events that occurred in the first hours of the eruption. But the Vesuvius eruption wasn't just a tragedy for the ancient Romans. It also contributed significantly to the field of volcanology and our understanding of natural disasters. In fact, the particular type of volcanic eruption that doomed Pompeii is now recognized as Plinian, named after Pliny and his uncle. So, while it may have been a rough day for the Romans, it left a lasting impact on the world that we still feel today. Samaru, the tallest mountain on Java, was also at it again with another eruption, back in 2022. The eruption spewed a cloud of ash up to nine miles into the sky and prompted the evacuation of nearly 2,000 people. Most roads were closed, and volcanic ash covered the view of the mountain. But let's not forget, this isn't Samaru's first rodeo. It also erupted a year prior, displacing thousands of people. It's definitely better to be safe than sorry around this feisty volcano. Nearby Japanese authorities had initially been on alert for the possibility of a tsunami, but fortunately, that hasn't been the case. Indonesia is home to 8.6 million people living within six miles of one of its 142 volcanoes. Yes, you read that right, 142 volcanoes. That's a lot of lava if you ask me. Despite being quite the fussy volcano, Sumeru is still a place people want to visit. One of its main attractions is a special type of savanna, what makes it so interesting is its color, purple. When this region is experiencing its rainy season, the whole area gets covered with beautiful flowers which are often confused with lavender. Spoiler, it's not lavender. And if you've ever visited the area, you'll know it's actually a type of verbena. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.